Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Class Four English. My name is Vinita Sharma, and we'll be learning something about um, a grammar topic today. So, before we begin with our class and with our learning topic, I wanted to share um, some information about a very, very good friend of mine. So, she's kind of my bestie, as um, you must be saying to your friends. So, she's my bestie, my best friend, and her name is Preeti, and um, she resides in the United States of America. And instead of uh, Preeti that we call in India, all of them, uh, all the Americans call her pretty. So let's start with um, something about her. So she's, Preeti is very, very tall. To me, she's very beautiful. She has um, black hair and um, beautiful lotus eyes and she's slim and trim even at this age and I really love her. So that was about my friend, my best friend called Preeti. So let's the way I have described my friend, I'm going to show you a picture and I want you to look very, very closely and we are going to together, you and me as a class, as a team, start describing what is there in the picture. So whatever colors you see, um, whatever shapes that you see, or anything that you find ugly, anything that you find beautiful, just start explaining. Just start describing those things. So today is going to be your description. So let's begin with the first picture and I'll move so that you can see it really quick. So here we go. So this is your first picture and as you can see that it is a birthday celebration or a birthday party that is happening. And um, as birthday parties are supposed to be full of balloons and caps, so I see red and blue round balloons, right? They are, the shape is round, the colors are red and blue. And I also see children wearing hats and those are green and white stripes and these are conical hats. Then what do you think the shape of the cake is? Mm, I think it, it is round. Yes, it is round shape and full of brown and yellow. So maybe it's a chocolate cake. Then you see that um, the hair is blonde and the other children, they have hair that is black. Um, the girls really look pretty and beautiful with the beautiful orange colored dress that she has and the boys look handsome with curly hair and the gifts are very very colorful and beautifully wrapped with the ribbons. Very nice and I see uh, even a table which is covered with a white zigzag cloth and um, blue or purple is um, are the four legs that I see. So I kind of like this picture. It's really beautiful and I can see some happy face. Really happy, excited that they are there for a birthday party. And I don't think so. They are lazy. They look really cheered up. They really look robust and excited to play around and enjoy. So this is how you actually describe a picture. Now let's go on to the second picture and the way I have described, you will also be describing in the same way. So I've described here the colors, the shape, how they look like, um, if they are happy, if they are not happy and the shape and the sizes. So let's go on to the second one. 
Now, if ever you have been to a beach, this is a scene of a beach. So some of us really like um, holidays on a beach and some of us go to the mountains to enjoy a um, holiday. So this beach looks very, very clean, very blue. See, at the background, the sea is absolutely blue. The beach is very clean. The trees are green. You have beautiful umbrellas, pretty ones, blue and red, round shaped. And you see that the girl has straight hair. The boy has curly hair. And what are they wearing? It's a blue um, skirt or shorts for the girl and pink top. Black, wide open eyes and a white and blue mat and then the boy is wearing a purple and a black thing and the sand really looks very soft to me because if it wasn't soft the children would have not really enjoyed lying down on the sand so this is how whenever you look at any pictures you describe it in this manner so the way I described my friend, the way you and me together described the birthday party scene and then this scene where you see two children sitting and um, one is lying on the beach. So now why are we actually going around and describing these things? What is it that we are actually trying to learn? So... Today, the learning topic is adjectives. So basically, adjectives are all your describing words. So how you describe a noun. So first, let's um, read the adjective is a word which defines or modifies a noun. Now, what do you mean by defining and modifying? So defining is when you are describing a noun. So noun is um, whatever names that you have for a place, for a thing, um, for an animal and for a human. So all of these are always described as adjectives. So if I say that Preeti, my friend, is beautiful. So Preeti is a name, that's a noun. And how have I defined her? Pretty or beautiful. So that's your adjective. Now modifies means another word to actually see that how we can change the noun. So if I say that uh, Preeti doesn't really look nice to me. So you have kind of modified, you have kind of defined what Preeti is. If I say uh, the dog, so dog is a name, so which means that's a noun. Dog is black in color. So what is a dog? It is black. So for example, red, short, big, round, tall, beautiful, ugly, cool. All of these are known as adjectives. So finally, adjective is any word which is describing your noun. So if I say that, hey, you look pretty. So pretty is how I am defining you. If I say Kohima is a beautiful city. So Kohima is a noun because it's a name of a place. And how is Kohima? It is beautiful. Or Kohima is a clean city. So how is Kohima? It's a clean city. So those are all your adjectives. So wherever you find that somebody has described you, described an animal, described a place that you live in or you want to go and visit that place, those words are going to be all your adjectives. So I do hope that you know what are your adjectives. Let's move on with the lesson now. So if you were to describe a color and you wanted to use adjective as a word, so blue, red, green, black, orange. So any color that you use in a sentence will always be your adjective. So if I say I'm wearing a red kurta today, so red is how I'm defining my kurta and kurta is a noun. If I'm going to define a size, it can be big, small, gigantic. Gigantic means big and large and huge, short, tall. 
So all these words are known as adjectives. Then if you wanted to describe a kind of sound that comes, sound can be loud, it can be quiet, it can be nice, it can be faint and it can be pleasant. So all these five words are your adjectives and you can use it while writing, you can use it while talking, you can use it, use it in a sentence. Now shape, so egg or oval means the same thing, round, boxy, square, triangle. So all these kind of shapes, if you're describing, all these shapes are your adjectives. So if I were to say that those um, gifts that were kept were round in shape, so round, is your adjective and gift is your noun. So you're describing gift as a noun to an adjective called round. Then you have the number. So if I say there are few children sitting, so children is a noun, it's a name and few would be the number. So how many children are sitting? Few. So few is your adjective. Many, 20, 160, any kind of number that you use, all of them will be your adjectives. Now, if I were to ask you to taste something that I have cooked for you and you say, oh, wow, it's such a sweet thing. So that sweet is going to be your adjective. So if I say dessert is sweet, dessert is a name and that is going to be a noun and sweet is how you describe the dessert. So that's your taste and an adjective. Sour, bitter, salty, tangy. I think all of us love tangy, tangy things. So all of these are your adjectives. If you move out and you see the weather and you say, oh, the weather is cloudy today. So cloudy is how you're describing the weather, how you're telling us about the weather. So that's an adjective. Windy, rainy, sunny, mild. All these words are your adjectives. Then you go to texture. So if I say, what are you wearing or what you are uh, using in a kitchen, a napkin. And if I say it's a smooth fabric, so smooth, is how you're describing the fabric. Smooth is how you're telling me how a, a fabric would look or would be if you touch it. So that's your adjective. Then rough, I had a bumpy ride. So I am a noun, sorry a pronoun, but if I were to take my name, then it would be a noun. So if I say that I had a bumpy ride, it means the ride was not very, very smooth. So bumpy is how I'm describing my ride and that is your adjective. Then slimy and furry. So all of these, the chart that you have right in front of you, all of these words are your adjectives. So whenever you want to use an adjective, this is where you can note it down. If you want to write a sentence and want to use an adjective or have to underline an adjective, this is how you do it. So always ask the question, how is he describing it? And the word that describes is going to be your adjective. Let's move on. So if I were to say, okay, now Christmas is coming, I know six more months, but if Christmas is just around the corner and you had to describe. So there are so many things that you can describe looking at this picture. There is that yellow colored star. So star is a noun and how is the star? It's yellow in color. So yellow is your adjective. If I were to say the shapes of those uh, glittery things that they have, if I say it's a round one, a triangle or a square, all these names of shapes are your adjectives. If I say that it's shining, so if I say the gifts are shining or maybe the tree itself is shining, so tree is your noun and what is happening to the tree? It is shining, so that shining will be the shine is going to be your adjective. Then what else can you see and describe? I can say that the tree looks um, small to me. I can also say the tree is special. Why is the tree special? Because it's Christmas. So if I say it's a special thing for me, special is your adjective. If I say that it is green in color, green is your adjective. And if I say it is traditional, all festivals, remember, are always traditional because they have come to us through generation. So that is again a adjective. So small, beautiful, bright, green, round, um, shine, traditional, special, all these words 
would always be your adjectives. So, repeating, whenever you see a noun and you have to describe a noun, it would always be your adjective words that you will be using. Okay, so let's read through the paragraph and underline the adjective because we've already understood how do you define and how do you pick out the adjective. So here we go and this is kind of a revision or a recap for what we have learned today. So read the paragraph and underline the adjective. Sean and Sheena are friends. They are playing with a ball. So Sean and Sheena both are nouns and what are they? They are friends. They are playing with a ball. The ball is big and round in shape. So ball is a name of, an, of a thing, that's a noun. And how is the ball? It is big and round. So big and round is going to be your adjective. And it is also red in color. So you have to describe the ball, big, round, red. So all these three that you have described are known as adjective words. Let's go to the next one. The garden in which they are playing is beautiful. So the garden is a name of a thing. It's a noun. And how is the garden? How have they said the garden is? So you describe that it is beautiful. So beautiful is your adjective. The white dog in the picture is Sheena's pet. So dog is the noun. And how is the dog? It is white. So white is your adjective. And what's her name? It's spicy and spicy also like to play with both the girls. Okay, so this is something which is kind of um, different for you. Whenever we read stories, uh, you will always find characters in the stories. And sometimes the author uh, defines and describes the character. Sometimes the author describes and defines the place. So whenever, remember, you are describing, you have to use your adjectives. So here we are and this is a little girl and we are going to use adjectives to describe her. So the first box that um, they are asking us to write the words is what is the character's personality? So personality is how does she behave like? What are her likes and what are her dislikes? So if I were to describe her personality, so I would say that she looks happy, right? Does she look happy? She does look happy. So I would say she's, she's a happy girl. Um, I could also say that she looks very smart to me. Why? Because she's standing and smiling and not at all cowed down with something or um, not slouching like this. So she looks smart to me. She also looks confident to me. She doesn't look like uh, she's unhappy. She doesn't look like she's scared of something. So if I were to describe her, I would use my adjectives as smart, confident, and happy. Um, then the next one that is down, what does the character look like? So uh, you look at the character and tell me how physically, how does she look like? So I would say, um, let's describe the hair first. So how is the hair? Um, I think curly. So let's say the hair is curly, they are black. So black and curly is the, uh, the two adjectives there. Then uh, she looks kind of short to me. So we could say that she looks short. So short is again uh, describing her, personal, uh, her uh, physical traits. So that would be your adjective. Then let's go to the second box. What does the character do? Now, this is something that um, we really, because we've not read the story, so we do not know what all is she doing. But if I were to ask you to write something that um, you think that she would be doing, if you have any favorite character and you wanted to describe about your favorite character, so I'm going to take my favorite character and I would say that 
um, uh, she looks like she's very adventurous. What is adventurous? When you go out, travel far, and want to climb up the trees, want to climb up the mountain, and love to go here and there, or want to just go for a swim in a sea. So that's called adventurous. So things that you have not done before, and you want to try it. So that's adventurous. So I would say that maybe this character is adventurous. Uh, maybe this character is brave. There's something that she's done in the story that I would say that she's brave. So again, adventurous and brave are the two adjectives that we have. So this is how when we describe a person, a place or animal or a thing, we call those words as adjectives. Now, let's quickly match the adjectives with the noun. So you see the rainbow, I'm going to be quiet and I want you to attempt this. And you have the tortoise there, you have a bike, a truck, and you are going to also see the adjectives. So the adjectives are there with round, colorful, straight, slow, freezing. And I see the word freezing and I see a picture with clouds and snow. So I think that's where freezing your adjective will go. And if there is something called a slow, I think that would be, yes, the tortoise. So tortoise is slow. So tortoise is your uh, noun. And how is the tortoise? It is slow. Uh, let's go one more, I'll tell you. If the word is colorful as an adjective, so what is colorful? Yes, the rainbow, the first picture, the rainbow. So rainbow is your noun and how we describe rainbow, that rainbow is colorful. So that is how you're going to mix and match with the pictures. So all the pictures that you have in front of you are nouns and the words that they have given is adjective. There is another adjective heavy and what can be heavy? Mm, yes, the truck, right? So noun, your truck and what is heavy is your adjective. So that's how you match the words along with the pictures. All right, this is your homework. Doesn't this look very nice? So this is my teddy bear and I have um, written a few adjectives for this teddy bear and I have painted, I have pasted, sorry, it on the body of the teddy. So if you want to make a teddy and then do it, that's your choice. Otherwise, you can just take a pig, cut it out. It, you can also use a newspaper if you have one and cut it out and start writing. How will you describe your pig? So a pig can be, I can describe it as a pink color. So you can start with that. This teddy is soft, it's white, it's fluffy, it's huge. It's fat and it is cute. So lots and lots of adjectives I have used for this uh, teddy. And you can, if you want to make the same, you can make the same. If not, then I would really appreciate if you take a newspaper or a paper, a pink one, whatever you have at home and try to cut it out of a, um, a character of a pig and make those adjectives there. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.